Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode, episode 5. We're going to have a look at um, a few more bits and pieces that we've actually been done. You know, when I came back upstairs from uh, the last episode, sure enough I found a uh, trader. Let's have a look. Hello, what he has, the captive dream sword. But fortunately we had the emerald from the end of the last episode, or beginning of the last episode, so I got it. So we got looting four on this, unbreaking five, mending as seems to be usual, capturing three, and sharpness five. So it's a reasonably good sword. In fact, it's sort of, it's about the same as this one, the diamond sword. So I'm not sure how it's good with this. We could actually enchant this one. Uh, something to do between episodes. What I'm planning to do between episodes is to uh, build a little mob spawner. Nothing complicated. I'll put those into, nope, can't put them in yet. Just waiting for those to go through. Uh, actually everything's coming out in here okay, yes I can put those back in there so we'll have to have them on our inventory the next thing I'd like to do is to have a look at what I've got in here yes now there's two things in here again this is for um, silence mechanisms so what I want to do is take all this stuff out of here and then make these um, it's basically it was just three three and three of these should make circuits so we get these circuit boards from silent mechanisms with those circuit boards we put them into these devices here so that was another one <laughs> if i can remember the pattern i think i can just about so we go into the circuit down the bottom here two smooth stone um let's put the gold in the middle of the gold to go in the middle let's go across the other side and the three iron we've got at the top and we get an electric furnace which is actually a really quite a useful tool for doing this because we've got power from these solar panels here in fact we've got th three solar panels tier two so what i'm going to do now is to make the tier three solar panel and pick up this as well right here that's so one does get about a bit so we need for that we need another I think it's nine pieces of iron because we need a piston. So we've got already got one of those eight. We've got eight pieces of iron in there. I think there might be another one in here. Yes, there is good. And then we need the glass that we require for that. And I think got more. I put the glass to be honest with you. It must be one of these. Possibly this one here. Yes, it is. Got. So we can easily make the the next level of these up. We've got fourteen of those. One of those. I'll make. That'll make the the. 27 mirrors that we require for those and then what do we need for that after that the uses of those are forgotten already a bit slow we need oh it's blocks of wood so we have plenty of wood and if not we can get some more very quickly so here we've got uh, oh 40 that's five uh, we need basically seven no eight eight fives Oh, that's enough actually then we've got enough we need some redstone now we've got plenty of redstone come back from the from the mining i've actually haven't brought everything back from the mining so let's just i think that might not yeah that's enough eight of those and have i got that right good so we've got our eight panels and then what we can do with these we put those around the piston and that will make a tier 2 solar panel like that and the uses of this is we can make two tier 3's and now th tier 3's are 32 RF per tick compared to these so if you add that up that would be 16 so you get double the stuff uh, and a redstone repeater, a redstone repeater is not very difficult to do we just need some stone let's get out of here three pieces of stone I want to keep the other two because we've got two more turtles to make um, it's a repeater let's do that again so that was the use of this one wasn't it this is the easiest recipe for that and then what else we needed was these other solar panels let's have a look what we've got for those I don't know what we need for those actually I might not be able to build this one because I think we need these sort of alternate two so we need three more of these so these are three mirrors so we need another nine mirrors but lapis i haven't got and glass oh, that's interesting i haven't got any lapis 
I don't think I have anyway. No, we've got this Tesselite stuff here. So I'll have to go and get some lapis. I haven't actually seen any lapis either. But for the time being, no big deal. What we can do is we can set this one up. Uh, you see, I put a hopper on here. We'll just put the furnace down here, as it happens. And then we can, we can always put this one on top of that until I've got the until we've got the lapis. So let's put this one down here like this. I think that will be fine. Yeah, it's got the light levels and it's storing. It's going to be storing power. Yeah, it's going up reasonably fast. It's going to be enough to do what we need to do anyway. Um, let's have a look what we've got down in here now. Yes, we've got space to put the other bits and pieces. Let's get those through out of this hopper down here. See, I've already done uranium twice. The only thing I don't need to take out there is, of course, the um, cobblestone. We could use cobblestone, of course. That would be sensible. In fact, what we'll do is we'll make sure that this lead goes through first. Like that. I think that's everything. Just about everything, isn't it? Silver and oh, that's actually aluminium is bauxite. So there we are. Silver I can get rid of. Bauxite I can't get rid of yet. What's it doing at the moment? It's doing a uh, more silver ore. Okay. So I'll put those back in there so we know where they are. And then we can put this uranium in here. I don't know if there are any uses for uranium at the moment. Let's have a look. Yes, we can make an ingot, of course. I mean, the uses of that, there's nothing at the moment. We can crush it to dust. So we don't have any uses for um, uranium at the moment. I think it might be the same true for zinc. Let's have a look for zinc. Blasting. Oh, maybe we've got alloying. Yes, we could do alloying. Bismuth brass. Ingots and brass ingots. I don't think there are any use. Oh, there are. Yes, indeed, there are. Mixer. For okay, I'll take that back. So we do have uses for those. Right. Um, next thing I'm going to make is this. This is the silk threads and the eight sticks. So what we're going to do with those silk threads and eight sticks, we're going to put them in here like this. So basically it's a stack. And that will make these eight canvases. The eight canvases we can put around here like this. And that will make us a canvas bag. So now we have a bit more storage, another basically chest worth of storage in here, which we can carry around with us, which is great. So for the time being, I'm going to have to put these back until I can get to, to the next layer of doing that. And maybe there should be some, there is none at the moment in the lapis storage, so I know that already. So those ones here, if you want to do this, will be give you 81. So seven of those will give you, um, it's easy enough to show you. I just take the spindle this in here. And it has a reasonable, it has a reasonable dur durability, this spindle as well. So you can get quite a lot from it. So you take those like this, you take one of those out of that. And you can then simply craft that on yourself like this. Where's it gone to? Spindle. And you get these nine silk threads like that. And then you can put those in here. So we've now got 50 silk threads. And that acts just like string and you can make wool out of it as well. So you, it's quite a good source of wool. But it's quite a good source of string. So why did I put that spindle that goes in here? It sounds like it's night time. And I'm not sure if I didn't hear an enderman just going around here. Or whether it's the... I actually dropped another one of those. What I could do now is to um, do a bit of mob hunting, but I won't do that yet because if there's any endermen around, they'll be over here and we can safely do it underneath here, but there are a lot of other mobs around and I haven't really got any sensible protection. What I would do is build a little, um, a little wall around a small area and put a little roof on it to protect against phantoms and then we can go and do those in that way. So the next thing I want to do is get rid of this one of course, we don't need that. So we've got the furnace and I'll leave these in here because we need those for something else later on. I wanted to do this one so I need to leave that in there as well. What else do we need? See I've got these two more, I've got two more turtles in here 
Uh, and to get those to mine, probably we'd have to go and set up some more bits and pieces. But what I'd like to do between now, well, actually, I'm going to do it now. So I want to get some more emeralds in case another trader comes along with another better deal. So I'm not going to do that on camera because we've already done that before. Um, I just may need to make sure I've got my watering can. It's as simple as that. I'm just wondering what I can do next. In fact, this is the maybe this is the same trader as I had before. Let's have a look. No, it's a different one. But this one's offering with the skeleton skulls. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go and do some trading on another farm. Um, I've got enough bits and pieces in here, especially potatoes. Have I got space? Yes, I've got plenty of space. Of course, because I've got this bag. Let's just harvest a few of these potatoes and carrots. Up. I'm not sure what we're going to need, but I do know where the, another village is. So I might as well go and have a look at this other village because it has one interesting feature. I think that just dropped down. I to get it out. Good. Yes, of course, they float. Items float these days. That's a strange noise. Very strange noise. I'm just wondering or not we'll get any fertilizer. And we got this. Because it's gone the wrong way. So we can now break this like that. And then we can chop it up to four and that'll give us four seeds. Great. So we, with these seeds we can plant these seeds. Let's just get the hoe down here like that. Um I'm just thinking about this. Maybe it might not be the best thing to do. I'd like to automate it anyway. We do have some farms around, so let's just, anyway, for the time being, I'll just plant these seeds in here. I think they generally are nice, but they don't always, they're not always nice. So they should go across outside. This one may come inside. I'm hoping they don't go over this um, plant. We'll see. Right. So I haven't shown you this village yet, so let's, I'm going to go over here. I'll show you where it is, because it's not actually not very far away. And as we go there, we're going to go past the one interesting biome that's, I think they're reasonably rare. This one here. This is the flower, uh, for, flower forest biome. As you can see, it's got lots of flowers in there. And you can then bone meal those, that ground, or you can bone meal that ground. And when you bone meal that ground, you'll get flowers, as opposed to, which are good for, which are good for colors, of course not just the ordinary flowers you get the special tulips and whatever else that you get and as you can see here's the here is the uh, village and right behind, right almost in the village is a volcano <laughs> now it's actually quite interesting these volcanoes if you dig it up you'll find stuff underneath it and you actually find a few um valuable gems Plus, you'll also find some witherproof glass, strangely enough, and right underneath that you'll find some explosives. So there's a lot of unemployed villagers in here, <laughs> but they do have a, an iron golem. I'm wondering if they've actually got... Most of these places haven't got anything, so let's get them started to do something useful. I think there might be a farm here. Indeed, there is good, and it does have a cauldron beside it, uh, a composter here beside it. So, this should be a farmer. But he's not in here, and this one is a fletching tub, so there should also be a, a fletcher. Um, beds, we need some beds, and then maybe I'm going to go make some beds, see so if I can find some more sheep. I don't have any wool with me, but we got we got wood, so that's no big deal. So I'll find some sheep. Um see if I can get some wool off them. I think there's a few around here. And we will um build some beds and see if we can get some of these villages to work. See you in a few seconds. Right. I created a little farm and this guy comes along and becomes farmer, so he now needs wheat. So in here I've planted some potatoes, carrots and uh, um, beetroot, so we need to get wheat. Now I've actually created some little wheat fields somewhere. 
because I was trying to get the wool for the thing, for the beds, and I made another four beds, something like that. And I created a tiny little wheat field. So what we're going to do now is we're going to increase this wheat field. And this, then the village will start to grow because it's got more beds in it. Simple as that. There's actually some wheat up here. Let's do this. Um, let's have a look. How many seeds have I got? Let's open my bag up. Put these away. I've actually got some bits and pieces I don't really want, like planks and sand and spruce logs and dirt. We'll put those up there. In fact, get those out of the way. And seeds, I don't see any. We've got six wheat already, so I'm just going to um, harvest these. We'll probably get some more seeds out of that, which indeed we have. So you don't even need bone meal because you've got this magic watering can. <laughs> it's really good. So I'll just break. Oops. Yeah, I forget about that. If you break it, if you break it with a hoe, you'll get it. It picks up the seed. So that's it. So let's get the watering can out and we'll just start watering again and soon get holding down the right button of course we'll automatically harvest these if you haven't explained that already so it's very fast because we've got more seeds now so we can plant these seeds and this is how the process goes just hold it and I can expand this, expand this out and out as we, as we need it. Now there are too many unemployed villi uh, villages in this village, so, so I'm going to sort that out like this. See, we'll just get one emerald off this guy. If I've got enough, 17. We need 22. I think this is a bit slower than carrots. Maybe just a few more plant a few more out and then we go faster and one of the things I'm aiming to do as quickly as possible is to upgrade the watering can but you see I might not need upgrading this one it's pretty fast I think it only does a, a small range though might be a 3x3 three three range and you can't lock it on because with the inferior ones you can shift right click and it locks it into place I might have got now right, I've got 32 and then get an emerald from this farmer with care that is I don't know whether you'll stay a farmer we'll have a look so now oh, nearly got two so that's it so I'm going back now to the other village and we should see some of these guys also becoming getting some jobs because I put the beds nearer to where the workplaces are. All right, I shall see you when I'm back at base. Well, I'm back down here in the mines again and I'm going to get these two guys to go and do some more mining because we do need that uh, lapis lazuli and I don't know where it, I'm not found it yet. That's really strange. So let's get these ones going. So this time we're going to do a safe branch. And we're going to say it's on it's a side and it wants to move and we're going to do 80 long and we're going to go to the right two so that's going to basically go across and it's going to start mining here it's got it's actually the one from previously so i can get it can i see it yes you can see it's got other stuff in it that we didn't get emptied it doesn't empty it out so this is the one i've labeled as minor four there is actually a minor three and it's not here it's upstairs at the moment so what we're going to do with this one, we'll do the same thing. Oops. Side. 80. Right. 2. And you'll see what happens when all of these start to finish. It's taken away the fuel now. I can put another fuel back in here just to be safe. I think the other one might have also used a bit. No, it's got plenty. It's got fuel in it still. So. And it tells you the percentage it's done, but there's a, a little bug I discovered when I was doing this one. I'm not handling gravel correctly. Uh, I need to fix that. Anyway, while these two guys are mining, well, I shall wait here and I shall see you in a, a while when they're finished. Well, Lapis is definitely being a little bit elusive at the moment. Um, 
these are these are finished gone to the next to the next position that's why you say two so they don't bash into each other when they're doing but i can't find any so let's do something else uh in the meantime let's just get whatever we can get out of here i think that's possibly all yours what's that gravel <laughs> uh, it got a few it got a few mobs in the process i also got 41 ah lapis lazuli didn't see it well fantastic <laughs> so much for that that's amazing i'm really surprised about that have i got any steps with me no to make some steps right let's go back upstairs and i'll see you in a second well i cleaned up my inventory and i'm back to this we wanted to make these sort of a voltaic cell wands i think so what do we need um three of these i might oh yeah i've got enough i made three things so we've now got those three so we should then be able to dig up the others it's night time yes of course it's night time it always is we'll pick up that at the same time and i'll dig up these while these are processing you see i've got some more this just goes the electric phone it goes a lot faster that's one of the reasons for making it um and the next thing i should do is really to get the crusher go upgraded as well because we can actually upgrade the crusher now we've got diamonds and actually i have a lot of diamonds even though i've used up quite a few in these pickaxes not that one but the other four that's 12. so we're doing pretty well for that i'm happy with this very good in fact i don't think gunpowder belongs in there gunpowder is really a mob drop which oh, of course it's in here look yeah so let's carry on and have a quick sleep and then i'll be back in a second when it's daylight yeah you can see it's daylight mobs are dying have a quick look around it's usually quite useful to go and pick up some bits and pieces from the mobs when they're when they're dying like this that one long got away but not for very long i don't think nope and the spider here well we can sort him out in two hits but we can also sort out um enderman in two hits what the hell happened there uh, talking about the Enderman, I didn't mean Enderman, I meant Creepers. <laughs> he must have dropped on top of me, gosh. Oh, nuisance. It didn't affect me at all, I don't think, in terms of damage. He just blew up by himself. They can be a bit of a nuisance, Creepers, can't they? So I'm not going to repair all this. We'll do that later on. Well. So what I wanted was a drop over here. And there's two more over here, which I lost. Oh, yes, I can see one of them. So I probably ought to make this a little bit more creeper proof. And I think there's another one over here. Oh yeah, spider. Spider eye. These are still slowly growing. Very slow actually, this particular when you're not doing that. And then we've got one of our first pumpkin. In fact I should actually water up the pumpkins, make sure that they're actually growing so we can get some more pumpkins, because that's a very good way for getting um, f where did it go no it's fine good there we go and as you can see this is really effective of course that one happened they both go the wrong way of course but this one should go the right way good they don't always but this time they did so we have some pumpkins for trading for emeralds which is also a good thing i don't think i have enough emeralds at the moment, but we'll get to that later on so what i wanted from in here was of course the uh, the four solar panels now there are different cables for this silent silence mecha uh, mechanisms have its own cable and there's also one from cyclic that i've found for power supplies anyway come back when i've got enough space they don't stack huh oh great let's just quickly get rid of anything i don't want shift click there. that's my chest for um bits and pieces this is that one i can go in there and this one can go in here like that no should have enough space now let's go and get the other missing pieces cool did one go into here it did yes it did So we'll put these in there. So we've got our four panels, so we can now make the, the tier three, or the two times tier three. 
So we've got, this is the t panel five, panel three. So what do we need? A block of iron and a redstone repeater which we've got in here. A block of iron shouldn't be a big deal. We're getting a reasonable amount of iron in. I think I actually went to smelted some up, didn't I? Yep, 23, good. So that should be what we need now for the tier 3 solar panel. We get two of those. So the cables from um, Cyclic, I think there's cables. I'm not sure what the best. Let's look for energy. We've got emer emerald en energy shields from back of the jet back stuff that we probably should be doing fairly soon actually. Charging station. Maybe they're called wires. Here we go. Energy cable. A strange recipe. Bricks. You get eight and for four redstone. And the other one, what's it called? Energy cable. Let's have a look. And the other one was wire, I think. Wireless transmitter from refined storage wire from silence mechanisms so that's basically using copper or refined iron to make 12 wires so this is basically so you would use let's be for that i think is it's two isn't it redstone does something messing around here it's the alloy smelter so that's four for two so in other words for three then you would need six so it's more expensive in terms of redstone if you're short of redstone we're not I should probably know it's probably the same, isn't it? Do we need 16? I've got that gravel of stone, stone good. Right, we need 16 of those. Let's take those out of there, and then there's the recipe for that. Shift click it in, and we got 8, 16. And then we needed stone steps. That will give us four. Actually, that's all we need, isn't it? And then we need four pieces of redstone. Oh, look at the right chest, which is the last one. And then we should be able to make this wire from cyclic. And we get eight of them. I think it's slightly cheaper. So what, of course, we can then do is we can put all of these machines together on one solar panel and that would be basically the same as what we've been doing so far so let's just do that get rid of these two pieces we don't need the dirt around and that one as well so let's just put these the wires down here they will connect they don't look like they're connecting but they are connecting and then we can put one solar panel on the this lot oh yeah that did actually connect after I put it on, let's have a look. Well, that's got full power anyway. This may be reconnecting because it's not filling up. What's wrong with that then? That's filled up. Oh, yes, we had 23 before, didn't we? So that's uh, 32, I mean. And that should go up. Oh, there we go. So it, well, Oh, and it must have been filling up something like... I'm not sure what it was filling up as it happens. It's actually going down slightly. So we can put the second one in here just to be on the safe side. And then there should be no excuses, it should go up. And <laughs> I don't get it. Is it daylight? Yes. And they actually join up nicely too, don't they? They get a pair. So we're getting 60 RF per tick now from this 64 RF per tick, which is great. So I think that's possibly it for this episode. A bit of fun getting the... I'll get rid of this stuff I've got in my inventory, of course. A bit of fun getting the bits and pieces that we needed. Actually, I've forgotten to say something. What I've set up here was a another mi uh, was another miner. This is miner 3. I didn't do anything with this one. And I've labelled it miner 3 and I've got to equip it with this pickaxe on... And what we will do with this, we'll excavate an area out here. I think I'm going to do it probably 18 by 18. 
Um, and I've also got to breed some chickens. Now, chicken breeding is obviously not something you need to watch, so I'll do that off camera. Uh, and next time I'll actually finish and build, uh, maybe even do it before, a, mod, a mob farm. Because what I'd like to do with a mob farm is we can, while I'm AFK fishing here, this, this is about 24 blocks away, we will get mobs spawning and we can grind those automatically. And so that's about it for this episode. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.